What's up guys, I am Black Ops Amazing and welcome to one of the GTA 5 videos. So today guys, I'm going to be talking about some of the possible patches that could be coming in the 1.12 update, some information about it and some stuff like that. So if you do enjoy the video guys, by the end, make sure you smack the like button in the face. If we could reach the goal of 300 likes, that'd be amazing. Obviously, it's totally up to you whether you want to leave a like rating or not, but I really don't mind, guys. It just really helps out my videos. Also, if you want to see some more awesome GTA 5 content on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button on screen now or below the video, guys, to stay up with all the latest videos and enjoy. So a couple of days ago, Rockstar gave out some information about what could be coming or what is coming, should I say, in the 1.12 update. They also gave us some information about the High Life DLC. I did actually do a separate video on that, so I won't talk about this in this video, but I will link the High Life DLC video down in the description. Basically, in there, I mentioned the new gun DLC, the new wardrobes, the new motorcycle, three new vehicles, one being the Pegasus Centorno and also the Massacaro. I also talk about new jobs and a bunch of different stuff that will be coming in the DLC, including new properties, garage space, all awesome stuff like that so if you don't know about that make sure you click the link down in the description but in this video i just want to focus on the updates that could be coming in the 1.12 patch just to give you an idea on what it could bring so the first one is the addition of a non-contact option for races Basically, this will allow you to play standard races with collisions disabled between player vehicles. Other players will appear as semi-transparent and you'll still be able to collide with non-player traffic, structures and other scenery. But this mode for those who want to play will eliminate the mentality that some wish to avoid. So that's the first thing that's coming in the 1.12 update, a non-contact option. Basically, it's where you go into a race, you can either choose to actually have a non-contact option on, where you aren't allowed to crash into other players, so the game actually won't let you crash into other players, or you could choose to have the contact option on, which is more realistic, where you'll be crashing into other players. Um, so I guess it's basically what you like. If you like the non-contact option, if you actually want to have a straight, clean race without crashing into other players, uh, choose that. If you don't, if you want the more realistic version, choose the contact option. The next thing that will be coming is players will be able to call Lester and have him tell his cop buddies to turn a blind eye to any crime you may or may not be committing for a short period of time so that's awesome another option for Lester we have loads of options that we can do with Lester we can actually choose him to uh, remove the cop wanted level we could choose him to make us go invisible off the radar for a while well now we're gonna have another option where we can actually commit a crime for about a minute or something like that and the cops actually won't come after us so that's going to be another awesome option they are also adding in as a reward for players who leave feedback on jobs there will be some bonus rp granted every time a player likes or dislikes content so basically if you finished a race or a job or something like that and if you actually leave a like rating or a dislike on that job you will then actually get some more RP, which is awesome. It's not hard to do. Just leave a like, leave a dislike. If you don't like it, whatever your choice be, you're going to get even more RP for that. So that's awesome. Another thing that will be coming is GTA payouts will be increased when a player completes parachutes, races, death matches, and different jobs around GTA 5 with less than four players. So if you do a job in GTA 5 with just one, two, or three players, now you're actually going to get more money than you did before, which is awesome. It makes it actually more worthy of doing a job on your own than it was before, uh, where you basically needed to do it with four players to get um, quite a bit of money before when you did it with one player or two players you wouldn't really get any money it wasn't really worth it now they're going to make it a little bit more worthy of actually doing a job on your own Rockstar have also basically said if they find anyone who has been doing DNS servers to get RP or basically done any mods, hacks or anything like that to gain RP, manipulated the cloud files, then basically they're going to correct your RP and basically put it to either zero or to a normal missions RP. So basically if your RP after you've completed a mission or something like that doesn't look right, if it doesn't look legitimate to Rockstar, let's say that mission normally gets you about 500 RP on average and you actually end up getting like 20,000, they're going to correct you, they're either going to put you down to 500 RP or give you absolutely nothing. They have actually said anyone who grinds away at small, short, legitimate missions so if anyone who actually keeps repeating a mission over and over again, if it's a short mission, if they just keep repeating it over and over again, they won't uh, uh, do anything with your RP. You're actually completing the mission. You're just doing it over and over again. You're not breaking the game in any way. So if you keep grinding away at a mission, farming a mission away, that's fine. But if you actually do any RP mod stuff like that, they're just going to basically either uh, take your RP away from that game, not give you any RP for doing that mission, or they're actually just going to correct it and put it down to a small amount. They've also said we'll be fixing the issue where players who had an upgraded personal vehicle prior to the 1.10 update were able to sell them for $10,000 GTA dollars. So before, if you sold the vehicle, sometimes it could actually sell for $10,000. That isn't the correct amount. They're actually going to fix this in the 1.12 update so it sells for a correct price. So that's just a couple of things that could or will be coming in the 1.12 update. I bet there are more coming 
coming. But so far, that's the only things we've had listed. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video and got a good feel about what the 1.12 update will be bringing. We haven't really had much information on heist, although I did do a video about that the other day. Like I said, the link for it is down in the description. Not going to talk about it right now because the video is quite long. But thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like rate on the video. Also, if you want to see some more awesome GTA 5 videos on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button on screen now. Or below the video, guys, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. You can ask me any comment in the comment section below or on Twitter. That's the best source to reach me. Thanks, guys, and until next time, peace out.